Life Act and Chiropractic guys, and today I'm going to show you how to alleviate pain caused by the rhomboid muscle or even increase range of motion, especially overhead movements like so. Now, the rhomboid muscle tends to cause pain in the back of the shoulder or in front of the shoulder, or even refer and radiate pain behind the arm or in front of the wrist like so. This type of pain usually happens when the muscle spasms and fatigues, especially when it's compensating and trying to fix your posture when you have a hunchback or poor posture, or you'd spend a lot of time at a desk where your arms are in front of you like so. A lot of times this can happen as well if you have an unbalanced gym program where you do a lot more pushing actions, for example, bench press and push-ups, whereas your body actually needs more pulling actions that keeps you upright like so. Try out these muscle release techniques that will help you recover faster, alleviate pain, prevent injury, and improve your posture. First, we'll start with muscle stripping. Get a lacrosse massage ball, or you can use a baseball or a tennis ball. I'll put a link in the description box where you can get a lacrosse ball. Pick a tender spot on the rhomboid muscle between the shoulder blade and the spine and place the lacrosse ball there. Now I'll move side to side and add a little bit of pressure on the muscle fibers. If you feel this position is not massaging the trigger points, try doing this technique on the floor. This will put more pressure onto the trigger points and the tight spots because your body weight will be leaning against it instead and reduce the spasming and tight tightness and break up the bunching fibers of a spasming rhomboid muscle. Do about 20 strokes on each sore area and move on to the next area. Do this five to six times. Vertical massages. A good technique is to run the ball over the muscle fibers vertically as well. Find a tight spot in this area and roll up and down along the spine. The thoracic paraspinals are attached on each side of the spine and runs parallel to the spine. Do about 20 rolls five to six times on both sides. Once again, if you feel like you don't have enough pressure onto the trigger point or the, any of the tight spots, try doing this on the floor and basically roll up and down over the tight muscle. This will break up the muscle fibers in a perpendicular manner and loosen up adhesions and trigger points that cause shoulder pain. You will also be working on other muscles, for example, the thoracic paraspinal muscles in this area that can cause stiffness and pain. And in turn, you'll be mobilizing the thoracic spine. I found that it was harder to control the rolling on the floor instead of against the wall, but it was a lot more effective massage-wise. Myofascial release for horizontal flexion in the arm. This is a type of myofascial release. Find the tendon spot on the rhomboid muscle and place the lacrosse ball there. Now in the straight arm position, move your arm over your body and back out again. This is one of the main actions of the rhomboid muscle. This will loosen up the muscle fibers whilst making the shoulder blade go through its range of motion therefore increasing range of motion and better movement. Work through this motion about 20 times on each tender spot, five to six times. Do this on both sides. Once again, if you do not feel the massage happening standing up, try doing this on the floor and lay on the lacrosse ball instead. Just find a tight spot on the rhomboids and put the lacrosse ball there and lay on it. Keep your arm nice and straight and pull it over your body and back out again. This is one of the main actions of the rhomboid muscle, therefore working the muscle fibers through the lacrosse ball. Forward flexion myofascial release. Place the massage ball on a tight tender spot on the rhomboid muscle and add a little bit of pressure on this area by leaning on it. Then move the arm in a straight arm position up and down in front of you. This is a type of myofascial release. This will massage the muscle in the natural range of motion of the shoulder blade. This will create passive movement of the rhomboid muscle where the muscle is not activated to move and therefore allowing you to regain range of motion, especially in overhead positions and breaking up any tight spots or spasming muscles in this area, especially the rhomboid muscle. Do this about 20 times on different tight spots, five to six times. Once again, if you do not feel like there's enough pressure on the rhomboid muscle from the lacrosse ball, just place the lacrosse ball on a tight spot and lay on top of it. This will move the shoulder blade through its range of motion and therefore helping overhead movements, therefore breaking any restrictions of the shoulder blade through the rhomboid muscle. Try placing the ball in different positions and break up the spasming muscles. A great tool to have is a peanut massage tool. What's great about this massage tool is that it has some space in the middle so your spine can go through and it doesn't get aggravated through the massage. I'll put a link in the description box below on where you can get this tool. Or you can get two tennis balls or two baseballs and duct taping them together. To work on the rhomboids, open your shoulder blades out by crossing your arms in front of you. Then place the peanut ball on the mid back and roll up and down. Make sure you add a little bit of pressure on this area and it will increase range of motion in your shoulder blade. This will generally work on all muscles in the mid back, for example, the rhomboids, paraspinals, and even the mid trapezius as well. To add more pressure and increase more range of motion in the shoulder blade, place your hands on your head. This will place the shoulder blade in a different position. Now roll the rhomboids 20 times and do this five to six sets. 
This will generally massage the paraspinals, the rhomboids, the mid traps, and even the upper traps attachments on the shoulder blade, which is very important to increase range of motion. Try different positions with the peanut tool, possibly moving the peanut tool closer to your shoulder blade or closer to your spine, working on the attachments of the rhomboids and other muscles as well. If you find that there's not enough pressure on the rhomboids by doing it standing up, I highly recommend that you should try doing it on the floor. Start by having your arms in front of you and roll up and down the rhomboid. This will mobilize the thoracic spine and help improve your posture and fight against the hunchback. Try to roll from the bottom of the shoulder blade all the way up to the lower neck. This will massage not only the rhomboids but also your paraspinals and upper trapezius attachments that can cause headaches or even neck pain when they're tight and hypertonic. If you still don't feel the massage, place your hands behind your head. This will add a lot more weight on the upper body and add a lot more pressure on the rhomboid muscle. In my opinion, this is one of the most painful massages that I do on myself, which is one of the reasons why I have a love-hate relationship with this technique. It's been about two days after I did this video and I still feel a bit sore. Once again, place the peanut tool on your mid-back and roll from the end of your shoulder blade up to your lower neck to get the most out of your massage. I found that it was a lot more sore when I rolled up onto the lower neck. This is where the upper trapezius attaches. So when it's tight, it can radiate a lot of pain in the neck and even cause you headaches. So it's great to massage this area. Do about 20 rolls up and down the back for both techniques five to six times. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna answer a few questions that's been left on my previous video, the Infra Spinatus muscle release video. Gallant Lee asks, are you saying inferior banana? Uh, no, I'm not. Gallant, I'm saying infraspinatus. It's a muscle that pulls your arms out like so. George Johnson asks, how do pull-ups cause this injury on the infraspinatus? So the infraspinatus can get injured, especially when you do chin-ups or pull-ups and you let yourself go too quickly. And it tugs on the arm and it tugs on the infraspinatus and it can cause minor tears or strains or sprains in the muscle and it can get inflamed and cause a lot of pain and spasm. Now, if you do have shoulder pain, try out the infraspinatus muscle release video or try out the tricep release video. Sometimes the tricep can mimic shoulder pain. Try that out, it definitely would help you. Support my channel, hit like, comment below if you have any questions and hit subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.